Now I'm going to show you how to render out the finished product or render out your animation. Okay, so you've created your loop. Um, now you're going to go to File, Render Animation. Okay, everything looks good there. Now it says you have it for an AVI movie. You can do an AVI or a QuickTime, either one, whatever computer you have. You have a Windows machine, render it out as an AVI. Then you can open up the compressor and, and try to compress it a little bit. Okay, I'm trying the XVID here and I'm not sure if the XVID's working right. And I'll show you why in just a second. Click OK. Click OK. And notice here it says the quality is 0%. I don't like that. So I'm going to change my compressor. I'm not going to use XVID. I'm actually going to use one called Cinepak. And there we go. Now I have a compression quality uh, slider. But when I go to XVID, I don't get it. So for some reason, it doesn't like XVID. So I'm going to use Cinepak. And I'm going to drag the slider over, the quality slider over, to about 98%. So I'm only compressing it a little bit, but I want you to try using the compressors. Okay, so now we have an AVI movie, Cinepak uh, compressor at 98%. And now down here we'll go to set. This is where you're going to save your file, what type of movie it is, etc., etc. Okay, and then render it out. And you'll see that it's rendering each individual frame that will be uh, your entire movie. Okay. So then it should open and play for you. Okay, so there's your final movie, right? It's playing as an AVI. Okay, the process is the same if you're using a Mac. Render animation. Although your type of movie, you probably want to use QuickTime. Same thing, edit. You go to the compressor here. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, MPEG-4. Okay. Now I'm going to just bring the slider down to uh, high quality, not the best, but high. It's 75% quality, MPEG-4. Again, go down to Set, name your file, and save it out where you want it. Okay, and again. It should render it frame by frame for you, same way we rendered the AVI. Um, so an AVI or a QuickTime will work just fine for this project. And I'm getting an error here, mainly because I don't, probably don't have QuickTime Player on this computer yet. But that'll work. Uh, either file will work. It'll play on the computers at school. Okay. And so that's basically how you save out your file, okay?